they've got one last attack. All we've got to do is hang on and we are going to the World Cup. Please kick it out of play. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, great tackle. Brilliant great tackle. tackle, Larry Wilson. Oh, and they've just kicked him off the pitch as well. As Bit of controversy. Over there. exactly what they wanted. It's going to be a free exactly. kick for Wales. Yep. Uh, don't take me home. You can hear that anthem uh, from the Welsh fans. They made famous during Euro 2016. They've qualified for the last two European Championships. They are about to qualify for their first World Cup since 1958. The average Got to throw it down house the price in the UK was two and a half grand. You could get a pint of beer for ten pence, a loaf of bread for four. Lawrence... They've done it, Lawrence Mora! Wales won the UK now! Seeds of pandemonium as Wales qualify for their first World Cup in 64 years! The players are hugging themselves! There's flares, a couple of people have run on the pitch, but most are staying back. Unbelievable scenes of jubilation. Gareth Bale punches the air. He walks towards the canton end, kissing his badge. He can't believe it. He's got his shirt over his eyes as he embraces Connor Roberts. Unbelievable scenes here in the Cardiff City Stadium. I'm giving Dave Williams of TalkSport a big hug. It is sensational. It is unbelievable we wish this history and Ukraine must be devastated because they have had an incredible performance this afternoon and somehow, somehow Wales' name was written in the stars this afternoon red smoke bombs are going off on the pitch to everybody on their feet including the Ukrainians who are applauding their players as they make their way to the far corner of the Cardiff City Stadium Ah, in my lifetime we've never seen it there are tears. I can see grown men in front of me hugging each other. This is what it's always been about. Welsh football, will, this will be etched into history. The likes of Neville Southall, Dean Saunders, John Toshak, Ian Rush, they never made it to a World Cup. But Gareth Bale, Aaron Ramsey, Joe Allen and Wayne Hennessy, their names will be etched into Welsh folklore. Wales won, Ukraine nil. Getting. The 64 year Getting. wait is over. Dean oh, Saunders, sum you up your what? emotions right now. Uh, I just can't believe it. I mean, we just, it was written. I mean, you've got to say Ukraine. I mean, to lose like they've, play, they've lost today, they didn't deserve to lose today. We, got, we were lucky, and it, maybe it was written. But I have to say, you can go back to Brian Flynn, who brought the, the, the young players through. John Toshak, give him a game. Gary Speed, well done. He played his part. Chris Coleman played his part. Ryan Giggs played his part. And Robert Page now has taken the team, the country, to the World Cup. There's only three and a half million of us. And there's, we ain't got that many players to pick from. Luckily, we've got Gareth Bale playing for us. And we'll never have a player like him ever again. I'm really pleased for him. And Ramsey. Wayne Hennessy. Unbelievable. He's never played as well as that in his career. Yep. And it's nearly over. I don't know about you, Darren Ambrose, but that speech from Dean Saunders has just given me goosebumps. Absolutely outstanding. Well, I just, I mean, it's been a part, you know, we've we've always been the underdogs. We've always been, we, we, every time we got drawn in a group, it was Germany and Holland, Germany and Belgium, and the winner goes through. We always had groups of four, and now it's been a bit made a bit easier. We've now got a team that can play against anybody. And if you looked at... Scotland struggled against these. You can see yeah, why. Yep. They they were brilliant. Zenchenko today, how he's on the losing team. Yarmolenko, how he's on the losing team, I do not know. But they could have got a penalty. And you've got to say commiserations. They've had enough pain. And that's going to you know hurt them. But it's a game of football. We've won. And we're going to the World Cup. Yep. We're all going to celebrate. Lawrence, just, just uh, sum up what's happening in the stadium. We can see on our monitors uh, the Ukrainian fans, uh, many of them holding flags above their heads. Their, their players are in tears. They've been so, through so much emotional turmoil with what's happening back home and the emotions of that victory against Scotland. And tonight, they didn't deserve to lose, did they? Yarmolenko currently saluting those Ukrainian fans. Oh, right now, they're doing the Iceland clap with their fans and every Wales fan in here has joined in with that to pay tribute to the Ukrainian players and what they have 
put themselves through today. They have been so unlucky. Another day they would have won this game. We have a, a Ukrainian fans in front of us who were obviously fired, maybe players, uh, family, or invited guests who were mixed in with the Wales fans. I, I, and there are hugs between the two sets of fans here. There are things that are bigger than football. And Ukraine have done themselves so, so proud.